All right, hopefully you know what a tab is, but this lesson is going to go over tabs and leaders. Tabs and leaders, okay? So let's start off with making sure, and you should be doing this with me and saving these documents, making sure that your ruler bar is visible in Word. So see how I have a ruler at the top of my page? If you don't see a ruler, you're going to need to go to the View menu and check mark Ruler so that you do have a ruler. Rulers are kind of important for tabs, okay? So the default tabs, and what default means is, of course, if you don't set any, this is what exists. The default tabs in Word are 0.5. So here's the one inch marker, here's the margin. This halfway point here would be 0.5. And I'm gonna press tab on my keyboard. See, tab, 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 tab. Okay, so when I press tab, it advances a half inch. That is the default. Now you can set tabs so they go exactly where you want and so you don't have to press tab a million times to get someplace. But once you set a tab, the default tabs aren't in play anymore. The other thing to remember about setting tabs is if you already have text or content on the page and then you set a tab, it will only apply to that point forward. Um, so if you already have text on there and you go up to the first paragraph and you try to put a tab in, it's only going to do it on that first line. You have to highlight everything in the document to do that. So you kind of want to set your tabs before you get started. Okay. So again, I want you to do this with me so that you understand how these work. On the left-hand side of your screen, to the left of the ruler bar, this is the tab stop button. And when you press this, you're going to see these things change. And we're only going to focus on three of these today. Um, but there's kind of, you know, several others that might matter, you know, depending on what we're doing. So when you click through these, this one here that looks like an L is a left tab. That's your standard tab where things line up on the left-hand side. So I'm going to set a left tab at one inch. And to do that, make sure it's on L, and then just kind of click right here under the one. And it puts a little L tab right there. And if I press tab, instead of going to the half inch mark, it's going to jump all the way over to one inch. Okay, I'm just going to type hello. All right, so I've got that one in there. And if I press tab again, it goes back to those half inches. Because beyond that point, I don't have any other set. But how about if I do set another one, okay? So let's say that I'm going to set a center tab so I can show you what a center tab does. I'm going to set a center tab at three. It looks like an upside down T, uh, so it's centered. That up line is centered on the, on the long line. If I press tab now, it jumps to the three mark. But notice as I type here, it won't start at the left and scoot over. Watch what it does. I'm going to type the word interesting. See what's happening? It's centered over that tab. Center tab. Okay. Now, if I press 10 again and I keep going, then, it, or I press tab again and keep going, it's going to stop at those half inch marks again. But I don't want it to. Instead, about an inch in, so that's at six and a half, so at five and a half, I'm going to set a right tab. So you should know by now we click and click and click until we get to the one that's a backwards L like when you do this with your little hands, um, that's a right tab. And then come over here to five and a half and put down that right tab. A right tab will line up, not in the center, not on the left, but on the right hand side. So as we type, it's gonna go this way and the right side's gonna stay lined up. Now I'm gonna press tab and I'm gonna say Jackson, okay? So now I have each of these. This lines up at the left, this lines up in the center, and this lines up at the right. Okay, I'm going to press enter. Now look up here, see my tabs are still there because I pressed enter. Now if I were to like randomly click down here someplace, if I had hit enter before, they wouldn't be down there. Okay, it's like that point that you make the tab and then hit enter, the tabs will be there from that point on. Okay, so here I'm going to tab and press high. And I'm going to put hmm. And then I'm going to say Cape Girardeau. Okay, now, are we seeing how this is developing? These are lined up on the left. These are lined up centered over the tab. These are lined up on their right edge. Let's do one more. We'll say sup, and then holla, and then, I don't know, chaffy, why not, right? Yeah, that's great. Okay, so there we go. That's tabs. Tabs in a nutshell. There is also what's called a decimal tab. 
So I'll show you that one too. Let's go ahead and hit enter a couple times. And then I want to get rid of those beginning tabs. So I'm going to come back up to the ruler bar and we're just going to drag them down. Throw them away. Just drag them down and let go. Okay. Now, if I press tab, what's going to happen? It's going to go to those half inch markers again. But that's not what I want. I actually am going to set one at left. So I'm going to find the left tab. At, at, let's do this one at two. And then I'm going to set a decimal tab at five. So let's come over here and find the one that looks like a T, but upside down, and it has a dot on it. That's a decimal tab. Okay, I forgot what I said. Five? Maybe? All right, we'll say five. So I'm going to click there. All right, so now press tab once. Let's say, what am I buying? Some sweet tarts. Okay, and then press tab. And I'll put a dollar sign, and how much are some sweet tarts these days? Like a buck 25? I don't know. Let's say. Okay. Now, we can't really appreciate this whole situation yet because we only have one number in here. But I'm going to press enter, press tab, and let's put in some toilet paper. And then for this one, we'll say toilet paper is like $12.95. Notice what's happening is it's lining up on the decimal points. So I'm going to hit enter again. Uh, let's say a new car and tab, and we'll say $25,000, okay? Now, you might be saying, but Miss Skinner, this kind of looks like a right tab. Well, it's not. Let's hit enter and tab over and say not a right tab, and then let's do point zero 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 five. Point zero 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 five. See? The decimals are actually lined up. It's just with money, they kind of all line up on the right. Okay? So that's a decimal tab. So pause this if you need to. Make sure you've got all of this typed up and then it looks right before you move on. Okay? And you're going to save this document as tab practice. So create this and save it as tab practice to your folder. And then pause because I'm going to give you a challenge problem that you're going to call tab practice two, and all I'm going to do is put it on the screen, and you're going to have to figure that one out. But before we do that one, I'm going to show you one more thing, which is the leaders on a tab, okay? So this is called tab practice. You're going to add one more thing to this tab practice, and that is we're going to create some leaders. I'm going to go up here and create leaders on uh, this that we already have, okay? Now, because I already have these tabs here, I'm going to have to select these tabs, like this whole area, in order to add this so that it applies to all of them. And what I want to do is I want to apply it to this right tab. Now, let me also tell you, there's another way to get to the tabs. It's just in a dumb place. It's under this paragraph group. If you hit the pullout menu and this thing pops up and then you go to tabs. I don't know why tabs doesn't get its own button. It's kind of not very nice. So I can do this to get my tabs to be brought up like this. So now you can see I have a tab at one and it's a left tab. And if I click on this one, I have a tab at three and it's the center tab. And I have a tab at five and a half and it's the right tab. Down at the bottom here, it says leaders. So these are things that lead to the tab. That's why they're leaders. They lead to where that tab stop is. So if I want to lead to that 5.5 tab that I have on here with, let's say, dashes or dots, I'll use dots. We call those dot leaders. We actually call most leaders dot leaders, even when they're not dots. It's kind of just a phrase. But anyways, so we're going to add these dots here. What we're not doing is pressing dot, 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 dot a million times. We're just putting this button. All right, so I'm clicked on my five and a half tab on the right. You should be doing this too. And I'm going to hit set so that this five and a half tab is set to have dot leaders. You're not going to see anything happen until you hit OK. Bam, look at that dot, 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 right up to it. And if we were doing this, like, you know, if you've ever made like a table of contents or something and they don't line up right, that's because you needed a right tab with dot leaders. That's like what you use in a table of contents. Okay, and I could even use that with these. You know, like I could take these decimal tabs and we could do the exact same thing. Um, I could click on the decimal tab, which is that five, right? It's at five. And then I could pick which one I want. I'll just choose dots again and hit OK. Same thing, right? Pretty simple. All right, now down below all of these, so I'm going to get rid of all these tabs again because I'm down below them so they won't hurt anything. We're going to make like little fill in the blanks. Well, that's also leaders. 
So let's say I don't even need a tab. We'll just put like, you know, like name or like name, address, whatever, okay? We just need a right tab way over here. So I'll just do it from the tabs menu this time. Pull it out, tabs, and then you decide where you want the tab to be. So let's say 6. I don't know, 25. So you can just type it in, 6.25, and I want it to be a right tab. But this time, I want it to have a line, so I can fill in the blank line, so I use a line leader down here. So 6.25, right, and align, and hit set. Now that's on there, so you can see it. If I hit OK, there we go, because I already had hit tab there. And then if I hit Enter, I say Address, and I press Tab, and there it goes. And then like other stuff, Tab, and there it is. Super fast, none of this holding down the button and underscore, underscore, underscore 15,000 times. All right, that's not the best way to do it. Okay, now, again, make sure you have this one done. Save it as what? Tab practice, right? And then pause. Once you've got that saved as tab practice, you're going to start a whole new document. So you're going to go back to file a new document and come back, and you're going to need to pause me, but come back, and you're going to create the one that I have on my screen and save it as tab practice too. Okay, are you ready to do this? So here's what you're going to create. Um, I've got this in Arial Black font size 18, so you can match me. If you'll take a look here, you can see where all these tab stops are. Now, I left it this way for a minute because I wanted to show you that you can move your tabs around after you've created them. And I'm going to do that now and put them where I actually want them. All you have to do is highlight the data that has the tabs to it, and then just pick up those little tab stops and yank them. So let's say I want this to be right here at the half inch mark. I just pick it up and scoot it, and it scoots right in there. Um, let's say we'll go three and a half here for this one. Bam. And then um, this one, I kind of like where this one is, but I'm going to scoot it over to this a little farther. There we go. So all you got to do is pick them up and scoot them if you need to change something. Um, also, notice we've got some leaders here. We did not press dash, 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 and they lead up to this tab here in the middle. So anyway... It's your turn. You're going to create this document, save it as tab practice 2 to your folder. And then you're ready to move on to video 2.